We're very close to it, but it is the other side. Of there it is. Where? The light. Look, there it is. Flash it. Oh, look, 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 look. Look. Good. Yes. Oh, 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 Hello. Hang on. Drone. Here. River. River there. That. Oh. That is very lucky, isn't it? So at midnight, I put the Mavic Mini up in the back garden to film the fireworks from above. And um, I thought it was uh, doing a great job until uh, a slight breeze turned into a light breeze and it just blew away. And uh, I've been traipsing around trying to find it. Anyway, here is what happened. After getting up high to around 100 meters or 300 feet to film our midnight fireworks from above in our garden, I noticed that the Mavic Mini was starting to drift away. I wasn't really sure why, as there was only the softest of breezes, but uh, sure enough, as the low battery alarm kicked in, I found that it was refusing to head back. No matter how low I took it down, it kept drifting away until finally the critical force landing kicked in. Maybe bring it down so the wind is nine meters. Right. Just oh, same. Landing. We'll have to go find it. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Is it over here? No, mate. No, it's down a... at the bottom of the field. Oh, f That's You're it. Having a laugh, no, you? I'm not. There we go. Not the best way to start New Year's Day. <clears throat> Hardly a windy night. Not even a breezy night. But uh, poor little Mavic Mini blown backwards and we're now hunting it in the middle of a field. So uh, yeah, not really too impressed with it tonight. I think I've got some nice firework shots, but uh, <laughs> let's hope I can actually uh, find the drone to download them from the SD card. So it's whether or not it's this side of the little stream or the next side, and I'm wreck I actually think it's going to be the other side of the stream. So, uh... Right, yeah. It's, in it's a stream. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> and it's right, right. It's over here. Light, over please. trees as well the so chances are It'll landed right. in there yeah rather than just on the flat ground oh shit. we're very close to it but it is the other side of there it is where the light look there it is flashing oh, look 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 that's good yes oh, oh shit. hello hang on drone <laughs> Here, river, river there. That oh. that is very lucky, isn't it? Jeez, upside down as well. Is she okay? Did she hit the tree? Let's have a look. She's lost one of the. She did crash land because yep. one of the legs is in. A uh, bit of mud on the old uh, lens, but otherwise she lives to fly another day. And she obviously look. She hit the, the soil on the props, but otherwise, there we go. Oh, that's good. Well spotted, mate. <laughs> there we go. Okay, right. <laughs> now the New Year's Eve, day, whatever, <laughs> night festivities can continue. And we can go and look at the fireworks. But um, yeah, not the best day. So, what went wrong there? Well, uh, as we saw in my wind test last week, Mini is a terrific bit of kit, but it cannot cope well in wind. Unlike the Mavic Air or the uh, 2 Pro or, or the Pro, um, the Mini can't tilt itself very far, uh, not much beyond 30 degrees. Whereas the Air and the uh, Pros can actually tilt much further, giving them a way better ability to fly into wind. But last night, my issue was that there was barely a breeze and yet still it got blown away. So today I uploaded all the flight logs and data to airdata.com, which is a fantastically useful website as it can bring up a whole array and maps and gives you all the details of your flight and crucially what went wrong. So one of the main rules I tell people is to not push the battery, but last night I did. As I was flying directly above my garden, I figured there was no issue about cancelling the, re the auto return to home as all I had to do was descend and hit critical battery. Uh, unfortunately though, that's when it started to drift away 
and uh, you can see from the wind map that uh, air data has for this flight the winds at that altitude were very much higher than on the ground as i said on the ground it was barely a breeze in the garden but if you look up high the wind speed is way above the specified maximum that the mini is designed to handle which is just eight meters per second so one very interesting point I actually saw from playing back the flight on uh, airdata.com is how well the Mini starts to cope with the wind again when I'm descending uh, to, a, to a lower altitude. If you look at the sticks and the drop in altitude and how it then manages to head home every time I try and descend. The trouble is, of course, I ran out of altitude and couldn't descend any further. Flicking it into sports mode and initiating the auto return to home had zero effect. And eventually the forced auto land at critical battery kicks in and down it goes. So even though I know the area, it was pitch dark. So I used the find my drone function, which is built into the fly app. And it led us right to where the drone was. And luckily there was still a tiny bit of power left so we could still see the flashing lights as we got close to it. But I think one of the most important lessons here is to understand the huge difference in wind speed as you rise up. So what feels like a light breeze on the, uh, on the ground can easily be a strong wind far in excess of what the Mini is designed to handle once you get up high. So with many new Mavic Mini pilots uh, suddenly uh, appearing, I would say watch out for the wind, even if it feels like a breeze. And crucially, make sure you take notice of the high wind warning notices if they appear on your screen. Reduce the altitude and think about landing. Anyway, bit of a fun adventure. Um, came out of it the other side okay. And again, hopefully you'll uh, learn from uh, watching this video. Uh, as ever, if you like it, hit the old thumbs up for me and I will be doing a few more mini, uh, Mavic Mini tutorials over the next few weeks. So feel free to uh, ding the dong and uh, then you'll get notified. Until next time, have fun, happy flying. Thank you.